Hey guys, Flying Mod 14 here. And we're back to finish up the school against Panic. Uh, this is gonna have to be the last video because uh, I'm running out of time here. But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as I was uh, kind of eating and taking care of some stuff, I mean, look at Crash Time, man. It's just so silly. But uh, let's back up the camera to about normal there. Oh, yeah, you can see everything. You can see the attack and defense stats. So now let's. Uh, uh, there we go. I, I don't know if that's the default or not, but. We'll go with that. We've already moved, so let's, uh, did I move middle turn? Okay, let's end the turn. Now this video here, it is gonna be the last one. So, man, he's almost got a perfect circle of cards. So, at least three of those are probably monsters. He's probably gonna summon his ritual card pretty soon here, I imagine. Now, hopefully this card isn't too strong. Mm, if it's a trap too, that's also problematic. Hopefully it's not too strong, though, we can get past uh, a rock monster, huh? Hmm. So we got a rock, a pyro, and a zombie. Let's just set the... Let's set this uh, mystical moon. I'm not, I don't want to put it on Nickel Gal yet. I really shouldn't be afraid to, but just in case, I'll set it here. In case I draw a uh, Firewing Pegasus, that's obviously the the number one card you want to put it on. So now we're going to see some kind of reaction from him, I'm sure. The one on the left there. Ah, okay, it is strong. What is it? Reupish your power. Well, we tried. Looks like still no defense mode. That card's not too bad, though. We can get... Yeah, we should be able to get past that eventually. Oh my, Reupish your power. Use your flamethrower attack. <laughs> now, Ryukushin does have one of the coolest attacks in this game. Look at the smoky shadow after effect. Man, that is awesome. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, sorry if you hear, like, pops or bangs. Or, it, it is still July 4th, so some people are starting to... <laughs> Ryukushin with the top... Or some people are starting to pop on some fireworks, but, I mean, honestly, not too many, because it's like... Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's like, uh, you know, 5.30 here, so. Not too many. It's still pretty hot outside, so. But you will hear more and more as we go. Uh, I think the camera needs to go up a little. Yeah, there we go. That seems. So we drew sparks, huh? Uh, well, let's, uh, hmm. I actually kind of want to move sparks, like, here. You know, kind of snake this corner and go this way. That way we can we can see what he's working with. You know what I mean? Um, okay, I can do this. I can move Neko Gal out for one turn. He's still not coming this way, so yeah. Let's send Sparks this way. I mean, because all Sparks does is 50 damage, so it's not even really worth it. It's best to use it as uh, as what I'm doing, basically to have him reveal something that's going on. You know, and, and hey, if, if we get all the way here and he doesn't move one of these three, we can just run into it because it's probably a trap or a magic card. Uh, ooh, there we go. Beast Fangs. Wow. And we're starting to get all our power-ups. Okay. Well, I'll set that right here. So if we ever get Firewing Pegasus, we're looking pretty good because I think my goal is to put both. Yeah, you can put both on Firewing Pegasus. And I would advise you to do the same if you happen to be using this deck. You know, on that or, uh, well, no, Flame Cer Cerberus is a pyro, right? Or or your King Tiger Wanghu, yeah. If you happen to go for the speedrun strat and get uh, two more of your deck leader, yeah, that's definitely the best thing to do. So I need to go up one more. And yeah, he's not coming after me at all, bro. I got all the time in the world. Okay, let's just see what we draw here. Uh, now, these will fuse, I think. A pyro and an aqua. That is the fire kraken, yes. Fire kraken. How about this? Ha! Now, fire kraken, I will move out. Uh, if we happen to get a dragon, we can get Kyriushin. And that would be good. Now, have I thrown away my dragon in the school? Let's check my own graveyard. I have. Oh, right. I did metal dragon. Is that the only dragon in my deck? It might be. It might be. I might have, uh... I might have misplayed, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Still plenty of time to duel. He 
he's still not doing anything. And we know he has at least two fiends for the ritual, because, you know, they're both face up. Let's see if this is a fiend. If it is, he should move it out right away. But if all three of these are traps, it might be looking pretty good here uh, to run over one of them. Uh, Truckadon. Okay. Um... Well, we only have 18 cards in the deck, but I think it's time to start throwing some of these out. So, I'll keep Feral Imp, because we can easily make Chimera. Uh, I don't know how many machines are left in this deck. I think I'm going to throw away the two dinos. We'll keep the rock in case we get, uh, I guess like a dragon or another powerful female. We'll do that, yeah. I think we're, we're going to start throwing away some of the low level cards here because we need to get to our field card it was a monster metal guardian yeah see like i mean the monster he's played so far metal guardian has good defense but honestly like this is kind of what i was talking about last episode and like okay so he's got the monsters right the only thing really holding us off is crass clown and like technically if i really wanted to i could just go in with the gal here and you know go to town but like yeah, this card isn't even that, you know, dangerous for us. It's only at 1650 in attack points, so, like, yeah. Like, I know it's stronger than Firecracker, but, like, I'm not... I don't feel too threatened by that. What's this do? Ah, okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Return to own deck and reach... Wait, when this card flips the face up, return to own deck and reshuffle the deck? Oh, so that's perfect, so... Hain Hain's basically the perfect bait whenever we get to the circumstance in which... Okay, that's good, yeah. So, essentially, that's what that is. Uh, oh, you know, I probably shouldn't have wasted that pyro. Yeah, I probably should have used it for flame servers, for sure. I was thinking about the Kairishian, though, but I should have checked my graveyard. Um, but yeah, Hain Hain's definitely going to be one of the last monsters I summon for now. Uh, let's test to see if this works. I think our beast needs to be a little stronger. Let's try Panda and Feral Imp. And, oh! Chimera, the flying mythical beast. There you go. Check that out. <laughs> One of Yugi's signature cards. Now, I could get Chimera. You know what? Um, I think I'll power both of these up on Chimera. I could wait on, well, I'll draw one more time, because we're going to draw, we're going to draw two cards. If I, I'm okay with going in with Chimera, I really am, and what's even better about Chimera is it's a win, so if he somehow gets past it, his dark, all his monsters are dark, well, most of them are, so he will be spellbound. Um, yeah, let's go with Chimera. Uh, so, just in case we don't get Firewing, I will move right here. We'll end the turn. Okay, we're, we're looking good. Just need the field card, really. That's the last piece of the puzzle. Right? Defense mode. Yeah, he's playing very defensive. Also, he's not playing any new cards. Like, even though, like, you would think he'd play new cards now since he has room right here and room right here, but looks like we're good. Uh, did we get Firewing? Yes, we did. Okay, so I'm glad I held out for that. Okay, so with that, and we got Forest, even better. Okay, let me just double check the compatibility. Beast monsters. Beast and beast warriors. And oh, I really to check the compatibility. I should have just went here. So yeah, beast fangs and mystical moon. Okay. Alright, Firewing Pegasus. Firewing Pegasus. Now, ideally, where do we want the uh, field card? Well, ideally, we want it like almost right here, right in the middle, but. Realistically, um, I'll try to get as close as I can with the field card, but even if we put it here, yeah, we'll kind of create a big old splotch of a uh, protective land, basically. All right, Firewing, go forth. Now some stuff's going to start to happen. Uh, let's start abbreviating here. Wow, we're already at nine minutes. Okay. But yeah, we can start moving out now, which that feels good. Uh... Yeah, even this, it only has 1,600. Well, let's make sure the Crash Clown comes charging in first before we go too far. And Firecracking, stay close to me, Firecracking. Stay close to my deck later in case I get the dragon. That sounds good. We got a plan now, guys. We had to be patient, but, you know. There you go. 
Firewing Pegasus Counterattack Meet your wing Mwahaha Oh, it looks like you're beginning to panic. Now, if this guy fuses, do watch out. There are, I think, three possible fusion combinations. One's Ryukushin power. The other summons Skull, so that's pretty... Yeah, watch out for that, for sure. Um, so let's see what's in his graveyard. Ooh, not good. This has 3,500. It's a summon skull. So, and right here, it'll have 3,000. If he moves up, it'll have 3,500. So, we really gotta watch out. Um, I'm gonna move here. My deck leader. Let's see what we drew. Okay. Stuff forest. Let's move Kraken. Um, well, I don't want to waste too many of my monsters, but I also kind of want to see what's in my deck. Sorry, Gazelle, but I kind of want to draw a card. These guys' effects are good. Uh, maybe I should save Gazelle just in case. I mean, 1500 is solid. Also, I need to be sure to check for a plant monster every turn. Uh, for now, let's move Firewing Pegasus here. And now that Crash Clown's gone, we can move safely move Deckle Gal here. Because, yeah, 1650 against 19, that's not a problem. And then next turn I can move... Okay, okay, we're doing okay here. Go ahead, buddy. Yep, another card. Now, I, I'm gonna assume, and I could be wrong, I could easily be wrong, but I'm gonna assume the t cards, the two that are like right in front of him, are traps. I mean, he hasn't moved, him, yeah, that one and that one. I'm gonna assume both of those are traps. He hasn't moved those two in a while. So what I'm actually gonna do is, right, we didn't draw anything new. I'm gonna move here, crack him, come on. So next turn, I'm actually gonna move my leader here. I'm actually not gonna move Firewing Pegasus um, because I don't want this card to trigger a trap, you know what I mean? I want my weaker cards, like, long story short, next turn I'm gonna move up here with my leader, activate forest, because this could be infinite dismissal, which, so if I move the spell there and it's spell, then we're really screwed, but, so I wanna move up next turn, move up here, and then put the forest here, and that should be good. Uh, for now, in fact, just in case this is a monster, Chimera will defend us, uh, if I'm wrong, so, uh, but yeah, for now we leave Knackle Gal, can't put in defense mode, so let's end the turn, alright, and see, I'm pretty sure if those were monsters, like, oh, I could be wrong, okay, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, that just tells me right there, those are probably traps, man. Because just the way he didn't move them toward us, like, yeah, that's pretty suspicious. Well, anyway, let's do it. Let's move. Let's do what I was saying. Move crack in here. And we will activate forest here. Do I want to get rid of this rock monster? Uh, sure, sure. Like, uh, I know I've been holding on to it for a while, but uh, and I might regret that. Just depends on how long the, uh, the duel goes, but... Yeah, I feel safer being able to draw two cards the next turn. Okay, so let's see if this is some kind of trap. Let's see, Echo Gal go in? Hmm, interesting. It could be a paralyzing potion too. He likes to use those too. But then again, we know it's not a, uh... It's odd, we know it's not a... Because if it was like infinite dismiss, it would have triggered right away. So Pegasus should be safe here, yeah, yeah, okay. I guess we'll end our turn with that. Interesting. Uh, so, yeah, let's see if we can draw a plant monster next turn. Huh. I guess we'll see what that is eventually, because I'm going to run it over. So, see, that's Summon Skull right in front of uh, Neckle Gale. Right in front of Neckle Gale number two. That's Summon Skull, so we don't want to attack that. So, what is this? Is this, uh, is this a paralyzing potion? It might be, honestly. It might be. So, let's see. No, it's Neck Hunter. Okay. So they weren't both traps, he just... He just didn't want to move this card for whatever reason. I'm surprised once I activated Forest, he didn't try to, like, escape out here since he was getting powered down, but, um... Okay, well, now we want to... Uh, ooh! This card can move without triggering traps, right? That's good. That is good. 
because this guy likes to use a lot of traps. Okay, so Aqua, did we get a dragon? No, did we get a plant? Uh, no, okay. Also, other cards confuse the zombies. Did we get a warrior? No, okay. Well, we're good for now. Let's have Chimera come up here first and see if I was right about the one on that one being a trap. No. Wow, okay, so I guess all his traps are behind him there. Because this guy has to have at least, like, okay, because look at the field. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards on the field. So let's say five are, well, we know five aren't monsters because I just killed Neck Hunter. He's got to have at least, like, three magic cards, right? We know one. At least two of these have to be spells or traps, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. Weird. Yeah, I expected to be triggering way more traps by now. Well, okay. Also, I'm surprised he hasn't done the ritual, but then again, he did... Oh, that's not good. Yeah, Castle of Dark Illusions does help all of his fiends by 500. Well, technically, all fiends on the field. Uh, so we can get 26 there with Chimera. Uh, maybe... Yeah, let's just go for it. We kind of have to. And my life points are pretty safe. Trap? There's a trap. Infinite dismissal. Okay. Now he's got the trap card. Okay, Chimera. Uh, so let's try Nequigal now into this. I know it's on the dark field. I probably shouldn't attack it, but I'm going to go for it. Dark King of the Abyss. Okay, so see, I'm okay with that. We're only going to lose 400, and now I know what I'm dealing with, so... But if he comes here, he'll only have 1,700, so... Firewing can run him over, and I'm not threatened by Ryukishin powered at all. Or should I be? Because I'll go down to 3,250. No, he'll only be at 31 with Ryukishin. Okay, so... And we did not draw, correct? No, we did not. I guess... Well, we got plenty of beasts. I guess let's get rid of Hitosumi Giant. I kind of just want to draw another card here. Just to make sure, you know. Let's try to use our leader's bait. Maybe he'll come here. You know, do something stupid. And let's see what happens next turn. Alright. We finally ran into a trap. Yeah. So he's probably going to attack us there. Summon Skull and Defense. That's... Okay. I'm okay with that. He retreated. He did not move toward our leader. That's... The AI for Panic is so, like... Wait, we just won. See, this was... We just won. How did we just win? Because, look... Um... So... In order for his trap to activate, it would have to be, like, within one square of him or so. So, like, but he has no traps that are even possible to be activated. So we just straight up won. Um, interesting. I guess I'll flip this up to gain the EXP. Well, just for fun? Yeah, well, because uh, Firewing has 3750, bro. Like, anyway. Let's see if this is a trap just for kicks. It is. Oh, no, the one behind it was. Well, because we want to win some different traps from this guy, so we can't win them if they're not in the graveyard. Firecracken does look cool, though, by the way. Check out that animation. <laughs> just kind of constantly lighting on fire. I like that. That is some clean animation. But, yeah, the game's over. Firewing Pegasus! Make your wing, Bergeron! Bergeron for the win. I should have just called this the Firewing Pegasus. Uh, playthrough. Oh, I should have came up with like a, a 4th of July attack for his name. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe Firewing Pegasus, he just kind of, he touches the fireworks with the tip of his wing. And that way you can shoot your Roman candles. Oh, that would have been a good attack name. Roman candles. Oh, I missed out on so many shout outs. But anyway, let me focus here. Let's try to win some good trap cards. Let me try here, guys. I gotta focus, because there's no fake traps, so the timing is slightly off. Okay, I'm gonna go for infinite dismissal on the left, on that square. Uh, let's see, that's 1,002. Oh, uh, it's, there's a lot of cards in here. Uh, oh, I missed it by one, or two. So we got King of Yami Makai. That I don't mind either. You need it for a ritual. Let's try for infinite dismissal again, mainly because Tears of the Mermaid's right by it. 
Oh, we got mesmeric control. That's good. Because I did want at least some traps from this guy. Uh, where's the infinite dismissal? No. Let's see. I'm trying to look for traps that are close to other traps. What about mesmeric control? Well, that's close to Tears of the Mermaid. I guess I'll try for Tears of the Mermaid. Uh, mm, well, you know, Shadow, who controls the dark, does have a good effect, so I'll take it. I mean, sh this card's effect is better alone than Leo Wizard. Psh, you can get that crap card out of our deck. Psh, Leo Wizard. Why is that even in there? Well, I'm pretty sure something fuses with spellcasters in this deck. Why else would they put that in there? Oh no, how could it be? How could I lose? No, you get my my chin was no match for you. <laughs> Still makes a very entertaining. Alright, well with that, guys, that is going to be the end uh, for now of uh, the 4th of July recording session. But uh yeah, obviously. You know, I'm gonna finish up, uh, basically I'm gonna finish up with this, um, another time, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, I wanna thank you guys all for joining me, and, uh, yeah, appreciate it, uh, if you like these kinds of Let's Plays, let me know, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a good day, Fudmod14, I'm signing out. Bye.